While we were busy at paint and fabrication with the E91 chassis, we sent the core S65 engine out to Carbon, which is a company that we work with to build most of our high performance motors and everything that we do here at the shop. That's Steve Dynan's company, and he has a history with BMW ever since 1971. He's been working on motorsports, he's been working on high performance BMW modification, but he has over 40 years of vehicle tuning experience. He also founded Dynan Engineering. This process that they're going through is actually in the machine shop we sent them a set of GoPro cameras and they set up to take us along all of the processes on what goes into a built motor, what goes into the preparation of your stock motor when it's sent to Carbon. Once the motor is received at Carbon, they tear the motor down, they inspect the guides for wear, they're gonna inspect all the valves, all the seats, all the camshaft, all the camshaft journals, lifter bores, all the Vanos gears, and they're gonna check all the surfaces to make sure that they're good to go. They're gonna pull all the plugs and they're gonna boroscope all the cylinders, clean and inspect all the parts, and go through all of that process before what you're seeing on the screen and the machining process starts. This is part of getting an engine back to square one before they're gonna go ahead and install the special pistons and everything that the 4.6 liter requires. The block gets decked, they're gonna bore the block, they're gonna chamfer the cylinders, clearance lower parts of the cylinders and the main web for the hone overstroke, wash the block, clean everything. They're gonna get everything ready for all of the special parts that go with the 4.6 liter motor. The standard E92 GTS was a 4.4 liter S65 from BMW. So we went ahead and took that a step further with this 4.6 liter which is stroked and bored and it includes oversized forged pistons a forged crank with increased stroke and carillo connecting rods it has a bore of 94 millimeter and the stroke is increased to 83 millimeter and in addition common s65 failure points are addressed with the clevite dine and racing rod bearings and carbon auto works valve springs just a super strong brand new motor and in my opinion it's better than what bmw provided in the gts sort of a best you can get option. And especially because we work so closely with Carbon, it was one of those offerings that we wanted to do on this project to kind of show that to our customers and everyone that's out there. So now that I've kind of touched on the inspection process, the boring process, and some of the components, let me talk about the assembly process that this goes through at the engine building facility. First kind of steps is they're gonna set the piston ring end gap. They're gonna measure and adjust the rod bearing and main bearing clearances. They're gonna assemble all the rod piston clips and rings and install the oil squirters. After that is going to be the crankshaft torqued down to the bed plate because this is a bed plate motor. Check the end play and rotation of the crankshaft during that process. Then it's time for the pistons to go in and the oil suction pump. They're going to go ahead and set the backlash on all the gears. They're going to go ahead and install the oil pressure pump. Install the pickup tubes. Check the piston and deck height for the correct head gasket thickness. They're going to install cylinder heads and torque the head bolts to spec. After that they're going to set the cam timing, perform a leak down, and then go ahead and do the final pieces before it's shipped, which is install the oil pan, the head covers, and the valve covers, and go ahead and stamp that serial number on the motor that shows when it was built and the trackable warranty serial number that Carbon creates for all of these engines. This is a really neat process. They haven't really shown it this in depth before on camera. We wanted to get all the little bits and pieces in so you guys can see what really goes into a motor like this, what really goes into an engine that costs this type of money. We're not engine builders here at PSI. We do some engines here that we can that we put together like S54s and S52s, but we're really just doing final assembly on those we don't do any of the machining and everything as you see here in this video this is all done on site at carbon and their engine building shop in california now that this motor is getting together let's touch base back they're going to pack this up and ship it out to the shop we can get this in the car